All right, YouTube. I said that I did get my motherboard in today. Well, I didn't get it today, but I already had it. But this is what I'm about to tackle. This is gonna be a pretty much an installation, like a removal and an installation um, to put in a motherboard. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I am using my phone. I haven't gotten a, a GoPro camera yet or a better type of video camera, but this here does do the trick. It's showing in HD, so I'm happy with it. But this is what I have in here right now. My motherboard is a Z87G uh, gaming motherboard, <clears throat> and I am swapping it out and putting, let me grab this real quick. I am putting this one in. Haven't even opened it. It's still in the package. I had it for like a week. I just came back from vacation like a couple of days ago. So I am going to be, you know, it's not going to be a full video on of me doing it because I am the only camera guy. But it's not going to be blue anymore. It's going to mess up my color scheme. I wanted black and blue in there, but now I got to throw in some little red. But this motherboard is supposed to do a heck of a lot better than the one I do have. Because this one says that it has an audio boost. A killer 220 gaming e and, um, networking. So pretty much what it does if it sees that if you're losing any type of um, bandwidth or anything. Man, I'm sliding this box around and just getting scratched up. But yeah, any time if you lose any type of bandwidth or whatever, it will boost up your uh, game traffic, so you won't be lagging and everything. So I'm, I'm so freaking hyped up about this. First thing, what you need to do if you're doing a install and a new motherboard, the only thing you really have to do is just take off everything what you see and just make sure that. Like what I did before, I took a picture of all the, the cables and everything like that. I know mine does look kind of junky up in, the, up in here because this is supposed to be the modular power supply, but I didn't buy one. I thought I did, but I didn't. So it's supposed to be looking a hell of a lot better, but I had to zip tie and do all this other crap. So, But I'm going to just show you guys what to do so pretty much you just take everything out what you see push it to the side make sure it, you know it's not on any carpet make sure that you are uh, uh, don't have any type of static on you so what you can do is just touch a power supply or you can have the anti-static wrist uh, band I don't know where mine is at my daughter had it and she thought it was her watch so hey I'll let her use that, that my real one. But what you can do is just touch the power supply, turn it off, touch it, and you're static free. That's it. So after that, you just go and do the removing all of your stuff. I got to remove all my, my uh, CPU, then to my intercooler and a video card. And that's pretty much it. You know, just take all my memory out and the cords and that'll be done so I'll be right back hi right, YouTube so right now I just took everything off the motherboard that was in the way like my um the graphics card and the uh, water cooling and this is what I have right now so you can see my motherboard is a Z87 M G 43 gaming board motherboard I'm it's just going to go into the stockpile of all my other parts that I do have for this PC. <clears throat> Some that I do sold, that I do sell. I don't know if I'm going to sell this one or not. I don't know. But this is my graphics card right here. <clears throat> so you guys can see. I have the Windforce. It does have three fans on it. This is a... Um, let me see if it can focus in. Will it focus? All right, there it is right there. That is what I do have right there as my graphics card. It's a 770, a Windforce GTX 770. So 
Here's my cooler right here. I don't know why it's not auto focusing. There it is. But I'm about to put this baby in real quick. So give me a second so I can unscrew these screws and everything from the back, take these cords out, and I'll be in the game. And what you have to do, this is my processor right here. So you just get some <clears throat> little piece of toilet paper or napkin or whatever and just wipe off all of that old um what you call it um it's thermal paste so this is the thermal paste what i have from when i the um water cooler so i still got a lot left and you just need a little speck on there so you just wipe this off real clean yeah just wipe it off real good real clean to where it's not none on there and then you do the same for the mount for your um, water cooling or your or your um, regular fan or whatever you may have that's sitting on the CPU just wipe it off real clean real good so it won't leave no old residue on there but I do have a 7 uh, i7 4790K Trying to see if it's gonna focus. Yeah, there it is right there. Don't know why it's not trying to focus, but I did hear that you have to have the you have to get the Vietnam one because it's overclockable. That's from what I heard. So alright, so I'm gonna wipe off this right here and take everything off the board and the new one to be in in, a, in like in a couple of seconds for you guys, but like five or ten minutes for me, because I take my time on this stuff. But I'll be back. All right, YouTube. So this is what I've gotten so far. I took everything out. See my case. Pretty much have nothing. I wish I could do something about these wires, but I I can't. So. It is what it is, but um, <clears throat> there's the old motherboard there. There's my memory, uh, my DDR, my RAM, and here goes the beast about to go inside. I put the I put the CPU on there, pretty much self-explanatory. How you take it out is how you put it in. Make sure that the white, this little sever, it's like a little white dot right here. On, the, on every motherboard, you make sure that this silver triangle in the left hand corner at the bottom is facing that white dot. But once it's seated in there, you know, you just shake it around, make sure it doesn't move. Once it's in, pull this, this tensioner leveler down right here. Pull that down, then this black cap will pop off, secure it, and there you go. So. While I have this on, I'm going to apply um, my thermal paste. Don't know where I put it. Hold on for a second. All right, so I found my thermal paste. I'm going to make sure that I do have this thing wiped off clean. So I got a fresh piece of tissue. Then I'm just going to just rub on it just to make sure I don't have any type of oil or grease or any old thermal paste that's on there. I just wipe all around it. I am having it sit on the anti-static bag that it came with. So, had this thing sitting in here. <clears throat> so I just wipe all around it. So, after that... It's on with putting everything else back together, how I took it off. So, oh, my bad, I'm jumping ahead. So you just apply this in the middle. You just apply this, um, like a grain seed, probably about right there.
that's a, that's enough right there. I think I put a little too much on there, but it's just a little dab that you're supposed to do. But once you put it on the bottom of your fan or water cooler, we'll smear it, just flatten it out. And this would it'll have it have like a square circular type motion on here. So I got to wipe this off, put it on here, and then we'll be good to go. So I'll be back. All right, so the next step <clears throat> after you putting putting back on the mounts and everything, I had to put these screws in, these four secure tabs in. After I do that, make sure that you put your your new um, what do you call this backing plate back on. Oh wow. This one has foam on it. The other one didn't even have nothing on it. This is the other one right here. See, there's a big difference from my old one and this one. That is crazy. It comes with some foam on it. This comes with nothing but aluminum. <laughs> so it scratches everything, but just apply it on the back. <clears throat> Push it on in. Make sure all four sides is in. There you go. So now you just put your motherboard on top of the tabs that you have. I have a micro, I mean not a micro, but an ATX. I have a full size. So I have to put it onto those A's on here. Alright YouTube. This is a finished product right here. I pretty much put everything back in. Excuse the wiring. Like again, I want to stress this out to you guys. Do not, and I repeat, do not get a power supply. That is not a modular. You see all those wires just sitting, hanging around. This is what you get when you don't pay attention to the description what you're ordering. <coughs> But everything is in. It took me a little minute because this motherboard is way bigger than the other uh, motherboard I had. So I had to modify a little stuff on the case and all that stuff. But it went in, went in perfectly. So I'm about to power it up, see if I get my lights and everything. And it'll be the wrap. Because right now it's 1 o'clock. So I'm tired. So let me put the power cord in and just see if it works. Alright YouTube. Here we go. Everything is on. Red light working. I got all my wiring and everything hooked up. So everything is working perfect. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <clears throat> but I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Alright, peace.